Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to begin using your Snowflake warehouse data inside of Wayscript. What we'll be doing is using the Python API to connect and then I'll show you how we can start using that data and automate tasks where we can do certain actions every day. Let's jump right in. Starting out, we'll be using a template to speed up our workflow just a little bit. So that template link is linked in the description of this video and I have it pulled up here. What we'll do is click on clone and this will clone this layer into this workspace. Once you've cloned it, this is what our view looks like. We'll open up the develop view by clicking on the left and then we'll open query snowflake.py. Once here, there's a few lines of code that we'll need to change so this works for you. What you see here is we're using a import of snowflake connector to connect to our DB. Using credentials from our Snowflake account, we will connect using these credentials with this step here. I'll show you where to get each of these values now. So our user comes from our account. We click on our name and then we go to our profile. From here, you see that this is my username and yours should be right here as well. The password is what you use to sign into that user on the login screen. Then account comes from back in Snowflake. We'll go down to the admin selection and within admin, there is accounts and accounts will have these two values. The first value in our hyphenated pair here will be this value up top. So this will be the first value and then the account right here will be the second one. So that takes care of the account. As you see here in our credential step, we're using an environment variable. With Wayscript, this is an entire environment, so we can be safe and save our account password as a secret within our environment. To do that, we will click on this plus and select dot secrets. Then we'll open the secrets tab and click on new secret. So what we'll do here is we'll make sure that the case sensitivity is the same and we'll type in password and then we'll put in our password to our user right here. Perfect. So that takes care of our code. As you go through this script, you'll see that there are a bunch of different commands that we can use. All I'm using in this one is I'm connecting to an active table using a few lines, and then I've commented out a step where we could query data from it right here. So feel free to pick and choose whatever lines you want to use in your own script. So that takes care of our code and how we want to execute and how we want to get data from our tables. Now let's talk about how we can execute this every single day. To do that, what we can do is open our triggers panel. Within this panel, you see that we already have a trigger created. We can create triggers here by clicking this plus symbol and choosing the one that we want. The example that we're working with this time is a cron trigger. And what this does is executes our command, which is Python execution of our file on a custom syntax right here. And that takes care of the automation on how often we want to fire this. So in just a few minutes, we've already talked about how to connect different functions that we can run against our data within Snowflake and how we can automate it. Once we have all of this taken care of and our cron trigger is set up the way we want it to, we need to be sure to deploy so this actually executes. We don't execute cron triggers in a dev environment, only in the production environment. So after we deploy, we have created that production environment from our dev one, and now our cron trigger will fire. Now that we've connected and our automation is taken care of, I want to show you one last feature. So Let's say that you're setting this up for your organization and how Wayscript works is you all work within the same workspace. Workspaces now have a very cool feature and I want to show you that next. So we can click on the settings and publish here. And what we can actually do as the admin is we can set up this layer to connect to our Snowflake warehouse just once. And then we can let other members within our workspace clone this template. This works by clicking on settings publish, and then publish to your workspace template library. And we can turn that on. I wanted this to be a quick tutorial and we'll be having more Snowflake content coming out soon. So be sure to subscribe to see that. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please let us know and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.